What you guys got another video here for you on how to clone your hard drive or SSD without reinstalling Windows. Now I've got a laptop here and uh, we're going to be removing the hard drive and uh, we're going to be using the Inertec uh, docking station here to clone our drive for us to another drive. It's simple and easy to do. You don't need any software. Now I know there's many ways to clone hard drives, but this is just an, another way of cloning a hard drive without any uh, software. You just need the hardware here to do an offline uh, clone of two drives, whether they're three and a half inch or two and a half inch, you can use either mechanical or SSD drives. So let's get the drive out of this laptop. Now I've already uh, done a clone on this drive, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it in this tutorial. So let's remove the uh, battery from the laptop that means there's no more power uh, going to the device so we can remove the hard drive safely now this is the actual uh, bay here now sometimes the hard drive is buried deep into the laptop if this is the case you're going to need to remove the whole bottom piece of the laptop but in this case I've got one little screw here which just lifts up this bottom little plate here and this will give me access to the hard drive now once we've removed this you'll see there's already an SSD inside here and that's because I've already cloned it from a mechanical to an SSD but just for this video I'm going to show you basically how to clone it back from an SSD to a mechanical drive but you can do it either way okay from a mechanical drive to an SSD or an SSD to a mechanical drive and these are two and a half inch in size as you can see and you can also do three and a half inch to three and a half inch you can even do three and a half inch to two and a half inch as long as the uh, drive is the same equal size or the drive the slave that you're going to is larger than the master which you're coming from so let's get this out of the laptop itself just slide it back and remove this from uh, its little caddy here now this caddy is just made of foil so I just need to remove these screws so it slots into the docking station properly here so I'm just going to go ahead and remove these now the same screwdriver should fit the bottom screws and also the hard drive caddy so you shouldn't need any more than one screwdriver here so let me just quickly remove these okay so i've got one more screw just to remove here speed did this process up and this should give us access here to the uh, solid state drive or hard drive depending on what you've got here so this is the actual solid state drive. Now, of course, I wouldn't suggest you uh, transfer a solid state drive for a mechanical drive. It's just for tutorial purposes only. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and uh, get all this stuff out of the way here uh, so we can go ahead and clone these drives. Now, this is the hardware we're going to be using. It's from Inertec. It's a pretty affordable and basically it's a docking station where you can dock your hard drives into and there's a cloning feature here which allows you to do it uh, basically offline now there's also other um, ways of doing this you can either plug in the usb lead to your computer and clone the drive that way if you want to but if you want to see that video let me know in the comment section below so let's get all the uh, hardware out of the boxes here and we can take a closer look at it now these uh, devices are pretty affordable uh, but they're very useful to have and uh, if you're doing it for you know friends and relatives or your own self or maybe you're doing it for a small business or something like that it's very useful to have so this is the user manual here it's going to give you all the information you need you're also going to have a usb cable in here this is in case you want to plug the device into the computer and copy data across that way so you've got your led lights across the top here this will tell you when it's a quarter done half done three quarters and and fully done and also the power and the clone button here as well which i'll show you a little bit later on you've got some led lights on the side there to tell you when it's powered on it's generally made of plastic here and uh this is the actual base here it's just a simple mechanism but it works really well and it's a great way of cloning drives if you want to clone mechanical or solid state drives three and a half inch or two and a half inch very simple and easy to do got some anti-slip rubber feet on the bottom here and at the back of the unit we've got the USB uh, 3.0 uh, also we have the power input and also our power switch here to turn the device on or off there's also this power brick which comes with a three pin power adapter 
uh, but if you're in the Europe area you're probably going to get a two pin for yours. This is the USB 3.0 cable which plugs into here and then into your computer if you want to clone or copy data that way. We're going to be doing it the offline method here uh, by just putting the power adapter into it. Now these drives here which are three and a half inch in size these will drop into the actual unit itself very simple and easy to do and you could copy literally to a solid state drive if you wanted to as long as the drive that you're copying to is equal or uh, larger than the drive that you're copying from so it's pretty straightforward stuff so I just wanted to show you you can plug in three and a half inch drives two and a half inch drives whether they're mechanical or solid state drives like these ones they're very simple and easy to do it takes all of these types of drives very easily as you can see here so let's go ahead and get the clone started here now on the device you should see an A and a B the A is the master and the B is going to be the slave so basically you're going to put the drive that you want to copy to into B and the A will be for the master drive which is what the uh, source so source and destination whatever way you want to call it so let's go ahead and get the drive so in this case we're going to be using this as our uh, source which is our master drive which is a solid state drive and we also are going to be copying it to this mechanical drive here now normally most people would have this in slot a and they'll be copying it to a solid state drive but just for this tutorial i'm switching it any other way because i've already done a clone on that drive so let me go ahead and slot this in just gives you the idea that it works either way okay so you could do it either way so i've got those in and all i need to do now is power the unit on you should see some blue led lights coming on I've got the power plug plugged into the wall outlet and we should now see blue lights coming on there we go now the good thing about this you don't need a computer and you can just clone these drives straight off and go and make yourself a cup of tea and walk away now to get this powered on all you need to do is hold it for three seconds a blue light should flash and then push it once more and then it should start the cloning process very simple and easy to do now the clone is going to happen it's a uh, you can see it's on a quarter way through there and basically all you need to do here is just be patient the good thing about this is if, if you're a pc repair tech or something like that is that you can walk away from there and just let it do its thing and carry on and start another job now i just wanted to show you this other little uh, thing here which is an enclosure from in the tech here as well and uh, this is a pretty nifty bit of kit basically once you've finished cloning to your solid new solid state drive you can put in your old uh, mechanical drive into one of these or if you wanted to you could put in the solid state drive into there as well and just have this as an external drive great way of getting external storage to uh, your device here so if you wanted to back up some stuff you could do that so you can see now the process is fully completed here all the lights have lit up and what we need to do is power the unit off and we can just take out our drive which we've just cloned to so it's the mechanical drive in this case but yours will probably be the solid state drive so I'm just going to remove both of these out of the unit itself let me just put my hand on there so I can pull them out They're a bit tight there we go so all I need to do now is uh, put these back into the laptop and then fire it up and you should see windows load up so I'm just going to put the drive back in now you're probably seeing me putting in the mechanical drive and there's going to be a bunch of people in the comments section going why are you cloning to a mechanical drive from a solid state drive well it's because it's just a tutorial I've already done this and I will be putting the solid state drive back into uh, the unit but you can clone them either way okay sound like I'm repeating myself which I am but the reason why I'm doing it is because I know people will mention it in the comments section <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, screw this down now we've done that we can uh, just slot the drive back in pretty straightforward stuff and this is a great way of cloning over from a mechanical drive to a solid state drive and keeping all your data without having to reinstall but if you're running a Windows 7 operating system you may want to upgrade to Windows 10 first and then clone the drive and then copy it over to your new SSD so let's put the panel back onto the laptop I'm trying to do this one-handed because the tripod and the camera is in the way but basically I just need to clip this down 
and then once I've got this into position I could screw this down and we can power it on and see the operating system so let me just put this screw down there we go and then I can flip this over and then power it up and there you go we got the operating system running and this was a complete clone from one drive to the other no fuss no no stress really simple and easy to do and this was with the Enatech um, docking station very simple and easy to do and you can use this also to take drives out of the computer put them into the dock and then use the USB lead to put them into another computer and copy data across that way if you want to see that video let me know in the comments section below just want to show you this uh, little caddy here just going to slide this down and then pull the caddy open so I can just uh, put the drive in you can see it's made of mesh on the front here which will keep the drive nice and cool and all you need to do here is make sure the pins are lined up on inside to which way you want to put the drive in so you don't put them in the wrong way so this is the way it goes in just slot it in and push it down and then the top part will slide over and it will clip into place let me just slide that back there we go and there we have an external drive with our old mechanical hard drive now you could put a solid state drive in here as well and this will be a great way of using this as storage or maybe use it as uh, some sort of uh, tools or something else that you want to keep on there movies whatever it is so you just plug this into your computer the blue light should come on as you can see on the back of my hand there there we go and once we've got that in we can go to the computer and you can see it now visible and this was the operating system that we just cloned across so it does work and it's pretty straightforward and easy to do as you can see here so these are great ways of utilizing your old drives now if this is the uh, USB lead here if I plug this into the back here and plug this USB lead into my computer and then put in the hard drive into the actual uh, docking station that hard drive will then be visible on the computer and I can copy all that data uh, from that drive or from my computer to that drive it's very simple and easy to do if you want to see some videos on that let me know and I'll make those videos for you so if you've got a drive inside your computer that is uh, starting to play up and uh, it won't boot you can also take that other computer plug that into that docking station and get access to it on another computer and pull all your data off very simple and easy to do using that method anyway that has been the Inatech docking station and hard drive enclosure and that is basically how you can clone your hard drive from one drive to a new drive without reinstalling windows my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support have a lovely weekend and i shall see you again with a pc build coming up real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos Thank you.